Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create a form like this one a form like this one uh, so that when you can enter your data let me say for example and also you put validation and data range let me say for example I have put a data range here from 2017 to 2021 so if someone adds data here more than less than 2017 date to 2021 it will prompt a message like this so let me say for example i want to add data here come to this one form as you can see i click new and then i can add data like a sbl and uh, this mail question let me say manager that's an example let's let me say one one 2011 second press enter you can see it is saying that please input that value between this range to this range so how do you put validations in also forms we are going to understand this from the scratch so let us understand from the beginning and we see all all these things so i have this here new form entry i'm going to use this as an example so here i can put my name and form and I put man occupation I can put manager and then I can put two to 2017 salary I can put 25 26 bucks and then occupation oh sorry this one we have twice I can remove this one or instead of removing this one, we can rename this as resident. Resident. So how do you do all this thing? You can put this one as residence. So how do you do this? And we can say this one is Nairobi. There's a reason as why I put this one, I will show you why. So here, what do we need to do? This is salary, you can't be general, you put currency. So, and then how now do you make your form to be that way? You come highlight everything like this. Come to format as tables, and then click this one, table style medium one. I click like that, click OK. So this is your form. So how do we enable this? As you can see, my form button is here, but most of the time you will not find it here. For you to enable this form, you come to this button here, customize quick access toolbar, and then more commands if it is not there. And then you need to add, you need to come to click all commands, and then you add, like you can see this command, I had already added here so it is already there if you cannot see there you can do that one or also you can come to file option quick access toolbar all commands and then you search where it is written form you search where it is written form and then you add your form like this one here if you cannot see it and then you click add you click okay that is how your command will come there so how do you i add data here i just click on my form here and let's say for example i want to put new data entry i click new for example let's say i put alicia and i put 23 gender female occupation let me say teacher Larry, let's say, for example, 34 by date, I mean, 3, 3, 3, 2018. So here I can put 34 residents, let's say, for example, Paris. Ah, for my data to enter, I just click OK. And you can see my data has been filled there. Also, if I want to add another one, I click new, as you can see. I put bright let's say for example 825 gender male occupation analyst date you can put 3 3 20 21 salary 
we can put 36 and then residence we can put Paris and I press enter you can see this one saves a lot of time and no VBA needed so another thing is that for example let me add one data value and then there's something I'm going to show you let me say for example Asia age 28 or we can put 27 gender it is female occupation let me say manager that you can put two two twenty eighteen and then salary I can put thirty four and then resident I can put Nairobi and then I press enter so we want to put validation here in date this is our data entry this dates so how do you do all this come to this your date and then you come to data come to valid data validation data validation and then you can put range this is date and then you can put date between it is start from let me say for example 1 1 2017 up to the date of let's say for example 7 7 2021 and then i click i can put input an error message if someone put date beyond that 2017 to 2021 or less than 2017 or more than 2021 an error message should boom like here which error message let me say for example so you should prompt switcher to say please input uh, data for date between the following range and then I put my range that is 1 on 2017 to 7 7 20 one then i click ok so let's say for example let's put it into practice let me say for example i want to add data here I come i click my phone click new i put a name here like mercy age let me say 27 gender female occupation let's say also we just put money as an example and then that we can put now less than the validation date that we had put let me say one one or one two and then 2011 as i press enter you can see this an error message is appearing here on the screen please input data date between the following range on 1 2017 to 7 7 2021 and then if i click retry it removes that one so i can put a valid Late, you can put late say 2018 salary 24 then residence we can put Nairobi and I press enter or you can see the form is not filled in these other forms so all I just need to do I just click find preview and then I return to add the data Marcy 24 female Occupation as manager, and then I press enter. You can see the data has been filled in this form here. So, another thing is that, uh, how also, uh, let's say, for example, now I want to put more than 2022, also, it should prompt me that message. I come to form, I can say, let's say, we edit this, Brian. I put here date 20, 23. If I press OK, you see, please input date between the following range. So, this is how you can put data entry. And I click retry. And I click 2021 the way it was. And you are free to go like that. So, let's say, for example, I want to find you have like a list of 1000 people 
and you want to find only people who are living in Paris. So how do you do this? You come to your form and then you come to criteria. I want people who are living in Paris. I come to residence. I click Paris. And then I click find next or preview and it will bring Brian is living in uh, uh, you can uh, you can you can you can find people who are living in let's say for example if it is Paris or Nairobi as you can find we have two bright and who Alicia they are living in Paris that is how you can find also people in a specific range or let's say for example even if you want amount of people salary people ranging in a certain time date you just come and at criteria and you input the value that you need to find so this is how you can form data or input data entry in excel you can add a bit of style here like this one you can put in red form and so on so this uh, is how you can add data in Excel in 2021. You don't need any knowledge, you don't need VBA. So thank you so much. Let us meet in the next tutorial about visual, uh, about Excel. So if you want to know more about e-learning skill, if you want to improve your learning skill, consider liking this channel and also subscribe for more video thank you so much